Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about financial mathematics, specifically about compound interest. As shown here in the syllabus, the formula for compound interest is shown on page 3 of your formula booklet. Compound interest is when a percentage increase or decrease is applied to an initial sum and then the same percentage increase or decrease is applied to the new sum and so on. It's called compound interest because the interest generated in one period will itself earn more interest in the next period. Interest rates are often quoted annually but can be compounded over different periods. For example, half yearly, quarterly or even monthly. The compound interest formula for finding a future value, FV, is shown here, where PV represents the present value. R is the annual rate of interest. N is the number of years. And K, which appears twice in the formula, the number of compounding periods per year. If interest is compounded annually or yearly, then k would equal 1. If interest is compounded half yearly, in other words twice a year, then k would equal 2. If interest is compounded quarterly, that's 4 times a year, then k will equal 4. And if interest is compounded monthly, it's 12 times a year, then k will equal 12. An investment is an asset, for example money, acquired with the goal of generating income or appreciation. Appreciation refers to the increase in the value of the asset over time. If you invest money in a bank or a savings institution, you will receive interest periodically and the value of your investment will appreciate. For example, £20,000 invested at 15% PA, which means per annum or each year, will appreciate to £23,000 in a year, as shown in the calculation here. In part A of this question, we're asked to find the value of the investment at the end of four years. If we begin by writing down the compound interest formula, and then state the present value, PV, which is $5,000, the interest rate, which is 7, the number of years, N, which is 4, and the number of compounds per year, K, and since it's compounded annually, K is equal to 1. If we substitute these values, into the formula and then type it into the calculator. So if we select run matrix, option one, into the present value, it's 5,000 multiplied by, put in a bracket, one plus, and I use a fraction, and we got 7%, the down cursor, and 100 times one, we can just put 100 or we can type it in as it's written and the right cursor to come up and close the brackets and to the power of one times four is four, so we can put four or one times four. And pressing execute to perform the calculation. And as it's money, we should round our answer correct to two decimal places. So the investment will amount to $6,553.98. In part B, to find how much interest has been earned, we need to subtract the present value. So subtracting 5,000 gives interest earned of $1,553.98. In this question, we're asked to find what yearly interest rate is required to double Ricardo's investment in 10 years. 
So if we begin by writing down the formula for compound interest and calculate the future value. Double 3,000 will be 6,000 euros. And since the interest is compounded quarterly, which is four times a year, we can identify k as being equal to four. So if we state the present value, PV, which is 3,000, the future value, FV, which has to be 6,000, the number of years, N, which is 10, and of course K, which was 4. And if we substitute these values into the formula to form an equation with R, and we can use solver on the calculator to find R. To do this from the main menu, if we select equation, and then press F3 for solver, and F2 to delete any previous equation, and F1 to confirm the deletion. Then if we type in the equation, so start by typing 6000, pressing shift to access the equals, and then 3000, multiplied by into bracket, one plus, again, use fraction button, and for R we use the variable X, Bottom 100 multiplied by 4, use the right cursor to come up, close the bracket, and then raise to the power of 4 times 10, or you can put 40. Then, if we press execute to enter the equation, just note that the number next to x is not the solution to this equation as we haven't pressed solve yet. So, if we press F6 to solve the equation, we'll see that x, or r in our case, is 6.99187. Rounding the answer to three significant figures gives a required interest rate of 6.99%. In this question, we're asked to find how much Ivana needs to invest now to get a final value of $10,000 in four years' time. If we start, by writing down the compound interest formula and identifying K, the number of compounds per year. And since the interest is compounded monthly, which is 12 times a year, then K is equal to 12. Next, if we state a final value, FV of 10,000, an interest rate of 8%, a duration n of 4 years, and that k is 12. If we substitute the values into the formula, forming an equation in PV, present value. We can use solver on the calculator to find PV. So pressing F1 for a repeat calculation, F2 to delete the previous one, and F1 to confirm that, we can now type in the equation. So starting with 10,000, shift to access equals, and for PV we use the variable x. Multiplied by 1 plus, and again using the fraction symbol, 8 for the interest rate, 100 multiplied by 12, right cursor to come up, and close the brackets to the power of 12 times 4. Press an execute to enter the equation and press an F6 to solve the equation. Given the value shown. And we're asked to give the answer to the nearest dollar. So Ivana needs to invest $7,269 now.